Welcome back to Vault's Walkthrough, and let me tell you, this level is going to blow your mind. You're going to quite literally start off staring at a box. Each side has protruding circles as well as the lid opens up to a different area, so please try to pay attention. First, raise the box up by pulling up on the southeast protruding circles. You will need to pull the platform up by pulling the protruding circles on the purple platform up, drop the purple platform down using the protruding buttons, and then wait for the crow to step onto the top platform. Once the crow is on the top platform, raise it until it lines up with the platform the button is on. Let the crow step onto the button, and you will see the north turret light up purple. Now you can pull the southeast wall back down to hide the purple platform. Second, pull the protruding circle to the northeast. You can begin by stepping on the gray button to light up the south turret cyan. Next, walk into the doorway to the north by going up the stairs beside you and into the next area which you can't get to automatically. From here, close the lid using a protruding circle. Third, raise the protruding circles on the southwest side to reveal green platforms. Your first step is to wait for the crow to step on the button. Once the bridge has rotated, walk over to the end of it. The bridge will rotate again and you will need to step on the button beside you to light up the east turret green. When the bridge rotates, walk back through the door and Ida will be waiting back in the area with the cyan platforms. Fourth, raise the lid again by pulling the northeast protruding block upwards again to reveal the cyan platform. From here, simply move Ida into the door that is directly below her and to the left. This will lead her into the next area. Fifth, pull the protruding circles to the northwest. Once the lid has been raised, you will see Ida standing on the wall. Walk along the wall to the southeast door and then go through the door to enter the middle platform with the button. Step on the button and the west turret will light up gold. With all four turrets lit up, the southwest wall reveals a wheel. Spin it to unbox a box, revealing yet more areas. Sixth, after the box unfolds, pull the protruding circles on the greenlit tower upwards. Spin it and more of the box unfolds, revealing a cube of water, stairs, another wheel to rotate, and a pedestal. Rotate that new wheel to flip the wheels around it, revealing Ida and a doorway above and to the east of her. Seventh, walk Ida to the button down the three stairs ahead of her and step on the button. Once you step on the button, the southeast section raises some tiles to create a path that leads to another button. Step on that new button which will end up rotating the section you are standing on to reveal stairs leading to the door to the southeast wall. Once you step through the door, the box will raise a new structure from its southwest section, and inside of it will be a button. Walk over and step on the button which will make the center of that structure rise up, revealing more stairs which lead to the button directly above you. After that, more stairs rise from the center creating a path to the next button a level above you, which again, you need to step on. Stepping on that button causes the side of the structure you're in to come down making a path to walk along the wall to reach the final button that is directly above you. Finally, walk through the door and you'll end up in the section with the button and the pedestal. Step on the button to reset the box without a lid. After the box closes, walk up to the pedestal to return to geometrical shape. We are finally done. Congrats and mission complete. So thanks a lot for sticking through that long puzzle. It was fun, right? So anyways, if you liked this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and share this with people you think would need it. And of course, come back next Wednesday for chapter 9, The Descent, where things seem to get a little darker.